Okay, look, let's 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 do the, this national soap opera and compare it here. James Comey's on the stand, right? Remember that last week? Okay. So Comey says, yeah, well, you know, the media got a lot of those stories wrong. But remember that? Like, you know, okay, he wasn't a target uh, specifically. Did Comey said they are not in the habit of calling reporters to correct them. They put their head down, they continue on to do the job. You know, the U.S. Attorney's Office did not call reporters and, tell, and correct them. Nor did the FBI. Just compare it to what we have here. Why would the U.S. Attorney's Office do that? Yeah, and, that, and, and that's the big thing for me, too. And, and I'm, I'm going to be actually writing a story about this today because it, it does some raise some serious questions about whether they're trying to protect the mayor during an election year. Um, and, and, and this is how unusual it was. The U.S. Attorney's Office wouldn't even acknowledge the existence of the grand jury investigation on the record to reporters, but they still made the unsolicited calls to reporters with one inch, with one bit of information. Mayor Duggan is at this point is not the target of the investigation. It's highly unusual, and the only reason that you would do that is because there's because they want to protect him. I mean, this is a fact-finding mission. The grand jury is still going through records. They still don't have all of the correspondence from the mayor's office. So it's way too early to tell to what extent Mayor Duggan played a role in this. So the fact that the U.S. Attorney's Office wouldn't even acknowledge the existence of the grand jury investigation, but would call reporters unsolicited and say, we want to make sure you know that Duggan is not a target of this, that's not how the system works. That's not how it's supposed to work. This is a secret grand jury investigation, and that is why they wouldn't even acknowledge the existence of it. But to then call reporters and say that Duggan is not a target of it raises enough questions for me that I, that I agree with Charlie. I think a special prosecutor needs, needs to be appointed because it looks like this U.S. Attorney's Office is more interested in the politics surrounding it than gathering the facts and determining who is at fault. Let's take Beverly's call in Detroit. Beverly, you're on the Miller Gatta Show with Steve Neagling and Charlie LaDuff. Hello, how are you doing, Miller? You had such a powerful brain trust right there before us today. And I am so grateful for both these gentlemen for what they're doing. But I wanted to ask you about the Inspector General. And he's supposed to have an open investigation going on. And so it's kind of quiet. Uh, it's very concerning that our council members are not saying anything about this ongoing demolition problem. And it's really big, rigged, it's big, rigged, it's big, rigged. So what's happening with that Inspector General? Well, let me see what the Inspector General, uh, well, I don't know what the Inspector General is doing. Uh, I, I don't, uh, I'm just going to much of the office, the brand new office. Uh, where's your report, sir? Okay, this is two years now, where's the report? I'll tell you about the Auditor General for the City Council. I think it's Mark Locker. He's a very brave man. He's brought a lot of this to light. They've tried to shut the office down and defund it. But what he's shown, what he showed the public, okay, the state, thankfully, got, got in late. Once the feds got in, they got in. They found, you know, seven million minimum of funny business. Okay, now, the, state, uh, the city admits to, like, you know, a little over a million of that, and there's arbitration on the rest. The Auditor General says, hey, they took money from the city, didn't tell anybody, didn't tell the city council, and funneled it over to the land bank, which is an authority, which is a quasi-public-private, murky little shower curtain of, a, of a, an assembly. Nobody knew. So, now, remember, they took these abandoned properties, the city gave title to the land bank, no longer on the city tax rolls, et cetera, et cetera. And yet, we're going to pay for it. City people, remember the bankrupt, you, you out there, in the neighborhood, not really seeing a whole lot. Maybe you are. I hope you are. That's your money. We went bankrupt. We have enough police. So, I just want to know where the people's money went. Why contractors can't get paid.